it's crazy because like five years ago I posted a video of me learning how to ollie and now look at me now I'm teaching y'all how to ollie I really hope no one walks by here because I haven't done an outside shot in a minute and they look like really good they look very cinematic but like it takes a lot of confidence to like come out here and hope that no one walks by and thinks that you're crazy <laughs> okay so it's 4 30 we're in texas it's not hot outside it's just really humid and uncomfortable and humid and hot it's hot so today we are going to learn how to ollie so the background on this video is i've been getting a lot of comments since my skateboard progression video people have been on in my instagram like how do you kickflip and i'm like why are you asking me how to kickflip like i i but i can teach you how to ollie i was confused at first because i was like i don't know why people are asking me how to ollie because like i suck and then i realized Oh, people are asking me how to ollie because I suck. That doesn't make sense, but like it, it makes sense. I was a beginner not that long ago, and when you're a beginner and you're learning how to ollie or do any skateboard trick, like you always like click on this professional skateboarder a like, pro that has like five sponsorships. Like this is how you do the ollie, just just pop slide, just pop slide. That's it. That's how you do the ollie, and then that's the whole video. So this video i'm going to teach you how to ollie but instead of just teaching you how to ollie i'm going to teach you the progression of the ollie because you don't just do an ollie you have to practice and you have to progressively get better at it so that's what this video is for all right so first up if you don't know how to ollie at all you have to get the motion now. You have to pop, and then as you're popping, you have to jump. And as you're jumping, you have to slide. It's all like three individual movements, but it's all one entire movement. But there's also like 20,000 videos on YouTube of how to actually do this movement. So if you don't like, if you don't know how to do that part yet, or if you haven't already searched through like 30,000 other videos before getting to this one, you have to practice the pop, you have to practice the slide, or you're not going to learn the trick. Pop, jump, and slide. But that's it. That's how you that's how you ollie. Next up is try to this is basically where I got stuck. After I learned how to actually pop, jump, and slide, I wasn't good at it. <laughs> and the thing about it is like when you're learning it, you're not no one's going to be good. I mean I don't I don't know, unless you're just like skateboard god. Once you get stuck and you're like, okay, I can kinda Ollie, I think. I think that's an Ollie. I think. The secret to Ollies is that they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be the best Ollie ever the first time when you're learning. They don't have to be high, they don't have to be clean, they don't have to look good. As long as you have the motion down and as long as you can get the back of your board off the ground even if it's just a little bit even if it's just a little if it, even if it's this much it's an ollie that was a very thing when i was learning how to ollie it wasn't high it wasn't good it didn't look good it didn't i didn't even think i was ollieing so i was like oh i don't know how to ollie this is how your ollie should look and this is switch, like that switch. Most skateboard tricks are just muscle memory. Like it's just practice. Next step is, this may not actually be a step for you because some people learn ollies while moving. This is very important because if you can't ollie while moving, then you can't do anything with it. You can't do, like if you know how to ollie, but you can, you just stand there and like, that's it. Like you're just standing there. You gotta do something with it. And this one is a toughie. This one, there's not really any tips for this. You just have to learn to balance yourself. My weight kind of has to be shifted forward when I'm doing an ollie, especially if I'm like ollieing over something. Like I'm like a punk. I'm a, I am a punk. I'm a scary cat. So usually when I'm ollieing, like when I try to ollie something the first time, I'm like, I don't know if I can do this or not. Like I'm leaning back and I realize I need to like actually lean forward and then I get it. It's just a matter of just learning your balance being able to balance on the board. You don't have to be moving fast. You don't have to be doing anything crazy. You don't have to be speedster. Just practice moving. That's the next step. And then once you get that step, then we move on to the next step. You need an obstacle. 
when you're doing an ollie and you're a beginner usually you have to think about it you're like okay so let me get information jump swipe pop you have to like think about what you're about to do in order to get out of that habit obstacles helps when you have an obstacle you don't have time to think you have to just do it usually when you're learning how to ollie like you like sit there and you're like okay let me get ready let me get ready let me get ready let me get ready and then you do it but when you're like actually doing an obstacle there's an obstacle in front of you you don't have time to like think okay let me get ready let me get ready you have to like okay there's the obstacle i gotta go i gotta go we gotta move out if you can move and you have the movement down you can do like a few ollies but you don't land all of them like you can kind of land sometimes you're ready for an obstacle it can just be a crack you can just get things and just slowly get there if you get the movement and you can you can do a you can like move and you can you can slide you can pop it and you can do it <laughs> you just gotta believe in yourself if i can do it you can do it because i suck at skateboarding <laughs> i'm like the biggest baby i i promise you i'm like the biggest baby in the world once you can do like a small object try to go for a curve curves are not as scary as they look I thought curbs were like terrifying. Worst case scenario, curbs are generally the same height as a skateboard, so you don't even need to pop that high to go over a curb. So if you're trying to go over a curb and you don't make it, as long as you pop, most likely what you're going to do is land on the curb. You're gonna land on it like diagonally, and if you land on it like that, you're not going to fall you're just going to as long as you commit you're most likely either just gonna like sit like stand there on your board like okay i didn't make it or you're going to jump off your board but honestly going like popping onto things i've never really hurt myself that bad especially with obstacles again you don't need to go fast to actually pop onto an obstacle or pop over an obstacle i haven't hurt myself at all i've never hurt myself going slow on an obstacle like i haven't i really haven't hurt myself going fast on obstacle either but it's not really that scary i don't know it's only scary if you make it scary but everything in skateboard honestly is just mental you're not actually gonna fall but when you like kind of fall and you're like trip over yourself and trip over your feet trip over your board you're like oh okay that wasn't scary so let me try to do it for real now eventually when you do enough obstacles and like you'll get bigger and bigger and bigger obstacles it just like all these start to just feel natural like you just start doing them and you don't even have to think about them last up is distance distance was a little bit harder for me because distance is unlike with obstacles obstacles you don't need to be going that fast to get over them distance you have to go fast but you don't have to actually pop like you don't have to pop as hard you don't have to like actually like level out your board as much you just need to go i mean you can learn that on flat ground for me when it came to learning distance the skateboard that i go to there's like a little patch of area and it's just grass so it's just like two solid places so if you do fall or you don't make it you just land in the grass it's amazing because my brain does not process pain well like if it like if i think that i'm gonna get hurt i don't want to do it but i know everyone doesn't have the luxury of having like a nice little clean cut space where you can like practice gapping so another thing you can do is you can just go from a flat surface area to where there's grass and just practice getting your speed hop from the flat surface area into the grass and then that's another way as well but yeah i think that's all i have it's a matter of pacing yourself believing in yourself being patient mentally hyping yourself up you can't just get it overnight either ollies are definitely something you can't just get overnight i feel like i just became good at ollies like two months ago i didn't even realize that i was good at ollies until my progression video and i like pulled footage and i was like dang i'm ollieing that a year ago I was literally teaching myself how to ollie over like a curb. <laughs> I didn't even know I knew how to ollie so I tried to I did the two stair last week. I don't know if I can do the three stair though. <laughs> it looks scary. It'll be a cute way to end the video. <laughs> My movie trick. Yikes!